Morning! I'm at Lockerbie Station waiting for the first train to Edinburgh. Now, I've never been to the Fringe before, so I have no idea what I'm going to see today or who I'm going to meet. You, however, have a sneak peek into my future by the magic of editing. What I do know is that by the time I get back tonight, I'm sure I'll have had an incredible day. Well, I'll be honest, that wasn't my train. My train was cancelled. But that's Brexit Britain. Nothing works. So an hour late, having come by taxi, here I am. That's why we need the Edinburgh Fringe more than ever. I'm a Bourbon Biscuit. I am a Bourbon why? Biscuit. Uh, because we are faintly connected to the branding of the Biscuit Barrel. We're doing 69 sketches in the space of an hour. And if you go further down the mile, you might see a couple other Biscuit Heads. Shows. The first show is Death by Shakespeare. It's 30 minutes of combined, it's a compilation of Shakespeare's best deaths, a little bit of comedy, a lot of physical theatre and some music. I think this is the fifth time we've come back to perform. We have four star reviews and uh, it does seem to be a pretty popular show. Our second one is another original piece, they're both original pieces, The Dead of Night. It's a musical, some gothic illusions and tropes, but it is a lot of good fun as well. So. Uh, if anyone's interested, Nidri Street at 2.15. You need a lot of energy, but I think, to be honest, there's a lot of excitement as well because you spend so much time talking to people, performing. But I mean, we're here for a week. We're here until Saturday and then it gets to a point where you do get a bit tired, but it's worth it. Well, it looks like I'm going to see Death by Shakespeare. CD of the day probably won't be the last. Come and see Macbeth at Paradise Green venue. It's at one o'clock every day till the 12th. I'm Macbeth. I'd love to see you guys there. A different adaptation. It's not. It's not the classic Macbeth people are used to. It's definitely brought a lot of life to the show, flowering and stuff. Yeah, there's so much life here. Yeah. Um, I've, like, I've never flied before. The, I've never had such like a, a professional experience with productions like this before. It's absolutely magical for me. Edinburgh's a buzzing city and it's amazing to work with such a great cast, so I'm very delighted to be here. We're the second picture of Dorian Gray. It's an absurdist comedy cabaret. It's about nine teenagers trying to find meaning in a world that doesn't really make sense. We've got a saxophone and an accordion and a mad plot. Um, and it's on at 3.50 at the Sea Aquila, just up the road. Um, come have a look. Susan, what's the Free Fringe? The Free Fringe is a side-by-side -side festival that goes on for the Edinburgh Festival, which is on right now. The Free Fringe is promoting the arts, performing arts. So you'll have musicians, comedians, drama groups, solo artists who are trying to get known. And so they put on free events all over Edinburgh as well. And we have this lovely booklet um, that people can get that is free and it tells what all those free events are and the venues they're held in. And some of those venues are really iconic, like this one, where Kieran's show is going to be at Whistlebing Keys every day at 3 o'clock. So Free Fringe, it's a great comedy, music, drama, performances, 
just artists who are trying to get known. They're the up and coming people. Kieran is over there busking just now. I hope you enjoy. Sha la 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 it's an improvised murder mystery. Every day you get to pick who did it and who got done, and then we do it. It's on every day, 2.40 at the Pleasance Courtyard. How do you have the energy to do the whole month and come out and advertise on the Royal Mile as well? We get all our energy from our lovely audiences who their laughter carries us through, and Red Bull. And Fudge Kitchen. We eat almost <laughs> an kitchen. unhealthy amount of fudge. It's not good for us. Help. Okay, now it's time for me to see a show. I'm going to see Death by Shakespeare, followed swiftly by The Dead of Night. Wow, I am buzzing. And that was such an immersive performance. Do you come off feet on a high or really exhausted? Honestly, uh, a bit of both. Bit of both. <laughs> I think it's I so... I feel very, like, yeah, I'm ready to go to bed, but at the same time, <laughs> I could do it all over again if you... I think it's also <laughs> kind of anticlimactic because you're so proud that you've yeah. just done the performance but you spent the whole day marketing and getting people to come to your show and, now it's and it's done. done. We're all students or past students of Sidcott School, it's in Somerset but this is very much sort of a separate company created off the back of that called Hurly Burly. So I mean I'm 20, I've not been at the school for a couple of years now but um, they get past students to come back and we've sort of get got, involved. And then we've also got current students so I've only just left, I'm just, yeah. And then we've also got some 15 year olds, so we've got as young as 15 up to 28, I think it goes up yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am so in awe of live performance. I could never have done that. And to do it with the audience on four sides, almost touching them, what can I say? Just brilliant. I couldn't resist talking to somebody standing in the middle of the street in a wedding dress. That's it, yeah, that would be me. Um, this is what well, I'm here uh, with Loveful. Um, that is me in the wedding dress, uh, sort of promoting this beautiful show that started at the National Theatre of Luxembourg, written by Giltare Parulite, who is off doing a wonderful firing job just behind you. Um, it's a beautiful one woman show exploring uh, repressed childhood trauma, rediscovering or kind of uh, resurfaced trauma, the different ways that we go through, you know, sort of deal with that, whether it's through addiction, allowing toxic people into our lives, engaging in our own toxic behaviors, and then how we find sort of peace and self love through that journey. So it's funny and serious yeah. all at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's not going just laugh through the pain, but it is going, there is humor in, in life. And you do have to find the lightness and the happiness and you're going to get run over. It's okay, she didn't get run over. It's all, it's okay. My name is Tony, and so artist name, hashtag PMM102. Uh, I came from Japan, and Jimbara Fridge Festival, big festivals so all over the world, I know. Yeah, my dream, and so I came here. Wah! Wait, 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 wait. Last song, last song. Hot, burning hot. Okay, wait, check. I want to buy some of his energy. I'm exhausted. Alfie. Hello. First time at Edinburgh? Uh, first time solo, yeah. I did a split build last year, but yeah. You're a stand up comedian? I am, I'm afraid, yeah. BBC yeah. Com comedy saying great things about you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I nicked it from a job rejection email. Is it hard selling your own show on the street corner? Or do you love it because you're meeting people? <laughs> I, I hate it because I'm meeting people. It completely undermines your onstage mystique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, uh, when you <laughs> beg them to come and watch you, you can't really be very mysterious when you come on stage. So pay for a team, yeah, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> Hi there. Bonjour. Bonjour. My solo show, I would say, it's a storytelling show. Uh, I play other characters without any props or costume. 
it's very funny, it's very moving too. How difficult is it to convert it into another language so it's still okay. funny? How do you say? It's universal. I'm, I'm just talking about the crazy humanity we are living in. That's universal, yes. And it's about, you know, the time that go by too fast. It's about motherhood and it's about, you know, just uh, love. for a large dose of South Korea. Wow, that was amazing! So full of energy! Ah, uh, thank you! Korean energy! <laughs> we, we, we have two weeks in Edinburgh. Our plan, yeah. But I don't know, maybe he won't take more, then maybe we can take long in Edinburgh. <laughs> and will you return to Edinburgh next year? Oh, we hope. We hope so! We hope so! <laughs> and your performance is modern and it's traditional mm. and it's fun, adults like it, and <laughs> children like it. Yeah. It's yeah. the perfect oh, street performance. Thank you. Well, I think you have been an enormous success. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, what have I learned from one crazy day at the Fringe? Probably that this is exactly what we need right now. The whole world coming together in an explosion of creativity and positivity. What else have I learnt? Well, next time I should bring about 10 clones. No, actually make that a thousand clones because there is so much to see. I'm definitely going to be back. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again.